My wife's titties are nice, by the way, and they've only gotten nicer. They were always, like, they were small and, like, really pink when I first met her. Now that she breastfeed, they're huge. They're not pink now. But they're gigantic. Well, they're not gigantic, gigantic, but they're huge. And, uh, but they do change colors, which I talked about one day. How your titties change colors? I'm not. Are you just trying to humiliate me? I'm not trying to humiliate you. It sounds like you're trying to. It sounds like I am. Okay, we'll tell. Because my nipples aren't pink like Alice's. Oh, wow. <laughs> well, you don't have the AIDS like Alice. What do you think about that? What do you think about Alice having Feels pretty AIDS? good. It feels pretty good. Does it feel pretty good? Oh, oh. Does it feel pretty good? I know, like, the faggots online are like, oh, you might have AIDS. And it's like, uh, dude, I don't have fucking AIDS. Can be careful with that. No, I literally, I mean. I've been tested. I don't have no fucking AIDS. No, they test you at the hospital when you have your baby. Yeah, I've been tested. Me and Rosie have been tested. tested since the whole thing anyway. So. So I already knew that. I don't know. If, I don't know if they knew that. Uh, I yeah. mean, they just think it's funny because it's like. It's like a button they can play. Plus, you can't catch AIDS from uh, hypothetical oral sex in the first place. No, it's just fucking retarded. Um, it's just they're retarded. By the way, the mouth rape, that was the funniest story. Like, the f- most ridiculous story. T- God damn. Thank God. I I'll, I won't say anymore. Just let's, just let's just praise the Lord. Let's just praise the Lord. Um, things could have went awry. Holy smokes. What could that have been like? AIDS baby on the way? Oh, my God. Dude, that's sad. That's oh why I think God. they took her kids away. Dude, they took her kids away? They took her kids away. They took her kids away? She's fucking retarded. She's nuts. She's half a functioning brain. She's like schizophrenic. They took her fucking kids away. She's a heroin addict. Dude, what the fuck? It's sad shit. Damn. <laughs> you know, I I think it's kind of sad, too. But, you know, I, 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 I can hardly contain. Uh, uh, it's so bad. Uh, uh, it's so bad. Oh, God, Jesus, oh, no. Oh, no, God, Lord, please, Jesus. We have to have a song. Oh, no. Welcome to the Hypnotize Zone. Today you'll hear the story of Russell Resthaven and the day he tried to save his girlfriend. Here's the story. Paul, she's got AIDS. <laughs> Paul, Paul, she's got AIDS. Dude, she's really got AIDS. Dude, she really has AIDS, doesn't she? No, I think I think she just No, Paul, does she does she really have AIDS or is she just bullshit? She says she has AIDS. She says she has AIDS. Well goddamn. Attention seeking because she wants people to like talk about her. Now she fucked a bunch of niggas who had AIDS. <laughs> Andy Dick and fucking that Sonic dude. Like, they all had AIDS. What if she got AIDS from Andy Dick? Oh, my God. That would be the most epic fucking dude, occurrence in, in the Dick. world. Believe all women. Hey, I'm taking her at her word. Would you still? You hey, Paul. Hey, Paul. Hey, Paul. Would you still let her suck your dick? No. <laughs> no. Hey, Paul. Paul, would you still let her suck your dick? Press one, press one in chat if you'd still let her suck your dick. Dude, you have nightmares. Press one in chat. No. Press one in chat. Press two if no. Two. Press one in chat <laughs> if you'd still let her suck your dick. Press two if no. Smash me two. I knew there would be someone. I knew there would be someone. I knew there would be someone. I don't say that. Motherfuckers in the chat would let her suck their dick. Because you can't catch AIDS. 
from getting your dick sucked in the first place. They would still get that dick sucked. I'ma introduce you. You're the son of making deals. I have friends. I have friends. I don't understand how you turn them into a white. Never have, never would. I have to press. Uh, well, my apologies. I hate to see in this predicament. I heard she on that bloke. Oh, dude, you won't even believe. I know just what to do. You get extra to to leave. What's the bitch back of shit? Hurry up and run them streets. Two times I ain't never in my life have seen before. It's a UFO. Oh, I hope that wouldn't go. Don't save her. She don't want to be saved. Don't save her. Dude, she's for real, man. She deserves everything. She's such a snake, bitch. You know, we tried to be nice to her. Of course, I was trying to fuck her because she told me I could fuck her. I don't care. I don't care. Let's be honest on here. You told me I could fuck her. I wanted to fuck her for myself too, though. I was kind of like. I know you were kind of hot I, on Alice too. I wanted her. So myself, like. So, I could challenge so her. let's just tell the truth on air. I wasn't cheating on Pantsu. Pantsu told me I could fuck Alice. So I was like, okay, all right, I'm gonna fuck Alice. Uh, that happened. No, that didn't that happen. Ha- I mean, no, I mean the part before that did. where you said that I could. Yeah, I, I didn't actually that. fuck her. No, I know. Um. But, and, and we'll be, we're not going to reveal the whole story, but that's how this haul got started. And when I was in Portugal, and it was after the supposed mouth rape that just couldn't happen, that's physically impossible, by the way, uh, that literally could not happen. Jeff, she fucking eager she eager was going to go on a date. She was going to go on an e-date with me. Me and you and her were talking about it and how yeah. we were, me and her were going to fuck and, like... I hate to get all graphic, but, like, we were all going to get off on it after. Like, I mean, yeah, I hate to get all graphic, but I'm getting all graphic, she's basically. Mental, though, like, honestly. But, like, she, I have texts from her from a hospital in Portugal, like, where she's talking about going on dates with the Ralph Amell, fucking me. me. She wanted to use you to get famous. Like, yeah, I know. And I didn't care. <laughs> No, uh, I know, but, like, if you say some shit like that... It's but like, it's like... That's who you are. She was literally gonna have, a t- like, dates with me uh, when I got back to the U.S. And then something happened. Oh, I know what it was. Sh- you know what it was? She was hanging out with you. She was hanging out with you. I'll tell the full story. She was hanging out with you, and she didn't respond to my messages. Yeah. And I said, oh, you're going to hang out with her and not respond to my messages? I said, the next thing I want to fucking read from you, bitch, is your obituary. And that was my literal quote. I said, the next thing I want to read from you, bitch, is your obituary. And that, like, really fucking just, like, set her off. Dude, she's weird as shit. The baby's up, so I got to go see the baby. Okay, go, but, check, um, on the, go check on the baby. But, like, my um, final thoughts on it were, like... We got a monitor up here and all that, but... Um, yeah, that that was that was what I literally told her. I was like, "Well, she knew the deal. She was like getting free stuff from us. She was going on double dates with us. You were and, trying like, to steal my side piece, actually. Yeah, I wanted her for myself the whole time. Like, you fucking dumb, you motherfucker. But whatever, she fucking was a fake lesbian, so whatever. A fake lesbian, She's bitch. Fake what lesbian. do you mean a fake lesbian? She says she likes girls, but she fucking was a liar the whole time. But you're bi if you like men and women. You're not lesbian." No, but she doesn't really like girls. She's just a fucking bot. Just get out. Why? I thought you were leaving. Yeah. All lesbians are fake. True, but I mean, it's like faker. Some are faker than others. Anyway. Yeah, trying to cut Ralph out. Yeah, that's literally what happened. <laughs> that's literally what happened. But uh, it didn't work, uh, needless to say, because Ralph's a little more slicker. Ralph's a little more slicker. Ralph's a little more experienced. So Ralph didn't get cut out. It's not selling out. It's buying in. You know what I mean? Um... But that was the that was the whole thing. So I don't know. The whole thing was dumb. Honestly, it was just something I shouldn't have even been doing. Really, just like 
You know, I thought Alice was saner than she is, and she's not. She's crazy. So, like, like I had a house in Richmond. It's like, okay, you live in Richmond. Just move into the house. Well, uh, this is not Christian necessarily, but, um, you know, we'll we'll do whatever, you know, and make content and have you on the show and have you as a character. And that was my idea. I don't think it was a bad idea. No, you know, you can't trust a motherfucker. It is a bad idea. So I don't know. I, I feel bad for her. If she really does have AIDS. You know what? I'm going to say this truthfully. I talk a lot of shit on this show. If Alice really does have AIDS, I feel bad for Alice. If she's just bullshitting, then I don't give a fuck. You die, bitch. But, uh... <laughs> if you really do have AIDS... If you really do have AIDS, uh, I, I wish you well. And, uh... Speedy recovery. All right, now... Thank you for watching this clip. This is the CACA Lofa. Remember to like and subscribe.